Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 112 of my Dark 20 1.18 Let's Play. <laughs> Look at the beautiful sunset. <laughs> it's just marvelous. Uh, anyway, today I have been busy. Oh man, I've been down in my underground base setting up auto crafting recipes for the base. Uh, Getting some more of my mechanism taken care of down there. So I went, oh, look at this. I have almost no energy in here. I have a lot of energy in here, but at the same time, it's empty because I put the energy modules in and look how much this each piece of armor can hold. 1.63 KFE. Oh man, <laughs> it's crazy, uh, but I love it. Uh, so I did a lot of work. I got a bunch of units installed, got all the energy upgrades in each piece of armor. It's on the very bottom of it. Um, I was just testing out some of the, uh, the, the run speed increase. I mean, look at this. Uh, got the step assist and the jump assist turned all the way up uh, okay so I cannot go over a four block but if I three I'm just pushing forward I'm not actually jumping three blocks high I can just boop, go right over <laughs> that is pretty sweet uh, so I bet I should be able to just jump So you would think if I could just step over <laughs> the the three block um, that I would be able to jump four, but I can't. So that doesn't that doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, so I have it all turned up. You can get in my uh, I guess. The controls it was default set to I don't know if it's the backslash or the forward slash I think it's called the backslash <laughs> it's the one that's right under uh, the back arrow the backspace uh, so it's not the one right next to the shift key the left the right shift key it's the one up by the backspace key and you push that and you get this module here. And you can go in and you can, like, if there's something that you don't want on, you can turn it off. Uh, I have the vision enhancement installed. Um, <laughs> and it is defaulted. You can toggle it off and on by using the V e key. That's what mine was by default. Um, this is what it does. <laughs> it turns everything green. Um I'm guessing that in like low light situations, it will be better. Uh, so let's go test this out in the underground base. I'm sure there's a dark spot I can get up to up here. Oh, yeah. See, like over here. What did this do? Oh, see, it does look a little bit green down here, but I can definitely see a lot better oh yeah oh that's great <laughs> I love that uh, so that's the vision enhancement the electrolytic breathing unit I should be able to uh, breathe a lot longer under water I also got the solar recharging unit I mean why not who <laughs> doesn't want solar recharging on their helmet um and then like the chest i have uh the charge distribution unit i don't have it charging my inventory because i have uh i have the little gadget over here my battery uh the flux capacitor Oh, it's got zero charge right now because right now because um uh, all my uh, 
but uh, all of my armor is currently being charged. So, and I have the charge, uh, what is that called? The charge distribution unit. So the, the chest plate will even out the charge in all of the armor so that you know it when you start getting low it evens out and you'll be less likely to run out of energy so um it's the options that's kind of cool i wish you could um i wish you could move the the things around with that uh, that would be that would be kind of cool is it just for the helmet that you get the options looks like it i guess because it's got the the compass um, yeah i just wish i could move this over or down a little bit because uh, yeah, it's it's like right up there i guess since i have the charge uh distribution unit i can tell how much is in the other ones by uh what's in these two because since they'll all be equal uh that's gonna be what is in there <laughs> so yeah i still have it I, i'm ready to start putting stuff in here um any day, any day now it's uh it's nerve-wracking having so much to do and not being able to get it all done but check it out okay so i added another section over here uh for steel i uh, kind of tweaked this a little bit instead of having uh Instead of having it go and put in uh, the iron and get the dust out and then put the dust back into one machine, I just put a second machine over here so it could send the iron in, uh, send the enriched iron over here, that gets turned into grit and the grit gets sent over here and then it outputs into the system as steel. So. <laughs> It's a little bit, I guess, less complicated, uh, but I like it. I can make steel now and I'm happy. Um, I did <laughs> most of all of the units except for uh, these right here, which I may or may not do. Uh, like the gravitational modulation unit, I can't do right now because it takes antimatter pellets. Uh, we have like all the other things or access to them. I, I don't have the ultimate induction providers set up on this system yet, but I'm hoping to get that all taken care of. And like the elytra unit, I can't really make this because I don't have another elytra. So I would have to go bebopping around uh, the end to try to find another elytra. I did have a second one, but I used the first one to make the angel ring, and then they changed it to where it used experience. Um, and they added the different angel rings. So I used my second one to make uh, this resonant angel ring that would use energy instead of uh, and I used the one that would you could upgrade and it would have a lot of energy storage. Uh, so right there we have 16 million FE for light, uh, which is cool. Uh, I don't know. I, it would be cool to kind of see what the, if the flight for the mecha suit body armor is different than the angel ring could be maybe you can adjust it and have it go faster or something I, I don't know i did have the elytra unit 
installed in my mecha suit in ocean block but you know that's been a little bit <laughs> uh, we could also do the nutritional injection unit i didn't do this one because i already have the uh <laughs> the auto the advanced feeding upgrade in my backpack so i don't really have to eat right now and all i have to do is put the food in my backpack and it just automatically eats for me uh so but i'm okay with this too all you do for this would be to you would have to set up the nutritional liquefier and you send food into this and it turns it into nutritional paste and then you can put your helmet in there and it fills up the tank in the helmet uh, so that's that's pretty cool um, and i did install the magnetic attraction unit uh because i have the ring of magnetization <laughs> uh so and the Frostwalker unit, I'm, uh, I may, oh, I don't have liquid hydrogen. That's black. Uh, so you would have to actually get liquid hydrogen for that. Uh, but that looks pretty cool. Um, I still want, I want to do what I did for my mecha suit. With getting all the upgrades and stuff i want to do for the pneumatic armor too because <laughs> they have some really cool upgrades in there that i want to try out uh like <laughs> this one uh the run speed like i always thought um let's see i'll show you uh let's just go out for a bit uh oh it's kind of dark and i'll show you what i mean like when I have my belt on for uh, Britannia, the Plain Strider stash, well, or sash, <laughs> not stash, um, that as you, you're just walking along, it happens, right? And you can see I'm getting faster and faster and faster. And if I were to go and get that other belt, um, that just does the speed uh, straight up. You don't have to worry about it over time. This is all you have to do is push forward to get your your boost. Uh, but for the legs, <laughs> for the mecha suit body armor, you don't get that bonus until you sprint. It's a sprinting. I mean, look how fast I'm going. It's all the way up. Uh, but you do have to pay for this with food whoa look at that there are guys around here aha catch me <laughs> catch me if you can okay what are they doing over here like it's daytime oh he's named oh he's so mad stop he's fast Oh, look at that zombie. Oh, quit moving, buddy. Ah, oh, he's so fast. Oh, he's summoned two more. Uh, so that's pretty weird. I mean, I was, uh, I'm okay with that, but it just, <laughs> I don't know. And, um, I thought there was like a jump boost, um, locomotive boost. So, and there's the sprint boost. I guess it's on the propulsion unit. I have the step assist and jump boost turned all the way up. So it looks like, I don't know, I don't know why. I don't feel like I have a jump boost. Uh, maybe if I turned my step assist off. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm jumping. Like, can I even jump? 
I can't jump three high, but I can, you know, with the step assist on, I can step right over that. So I don't understand why the jump boost isn't working. Uh, I don't know, maybe it has something to do with this. The stabilization unit? I don't know. Um. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, this is like super duper fast. Uh, but I would prefer that it just increase my base speed. But I guess in order for them to make it take more food, I guess, uh, doing it while you're sprinting. Uh, because I don't think you eat as much food from just uh, pushing the forward button as much as you do from when you're pushing sprint. Whoa! So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, but I've been having fun. Oh, look at how fast I can zoom! I wonder if that, because uh, I'm not pushing sprint. That um, that seems a lot faster <laughs> than normal flight. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there is an update out, but I haven't been able to do that yet. I tried it yesterday, and I couldn't get it updated. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, what's going on over here? It looks like we're out of fuel. Dude, I love it that this is kicking off uh, and that it's so stable. This is completely empty. So um, let's go check and see. I have this just set to a chest. We, don't, we still don't have anything. We only have 483 millibuckets. Oh man, we're going to need a lot more fissile fuel, I guess. Uh, but everything looks like it's working good. Got some people here. How are you doing? You're completely empty because you're sending stuff around. So let's go down and grab our extra fissile fuel. Should be ready to go. Oh yeah, now that'll be ready for... I would like to maybe move the setup over there, but here's the thing. Uh, in order to do this and have it uh, pull things out of my uh, underground base system versus the uh, dire, dire factory system, I would have to set up a quantum Tunnel. Doesn't that sound really cool? But uh, the way AE2 does the uh, networking, the wireless networking, is different than refined storage. It's a little bit more complicated. And I do have, I did set up the matter condenser. Uh, it takes like 256,000 uh of one item in order to make a singularity. Uh, but this is what you need. I turned it off because it was eating all of my cobblestone. I mean, I now have two million, so I could probably go ahead and turn this on again. Uh, let's see. Cobblestone. At least, you know, get another one. Is it not coming in? Ah, oh, there it's going. Okay, okay, so it's working. Uh, so that is something I definitely want to work on. Um, you have to, like, take this singularity 
and I think it's an ender pearl and you blow them up <laughs> and they combine and you get two unique but found singularities and this is what links the two uh, quantum tunnels together which is super cool I mean how cool is that right uh, so maybe we'll go throw this guy over and get our reactor going again. Uh -oh. Yeah, we'll see about... I think I have a Diamander or I can craft one. Um, I think this actually says like what It doesn't have anything uh oh i do like that cyclic has a packager uh, that is pretty cool um i i guess if we look up quantum this little guy right here, Quantum Entangled Singularity. To create, drop one singularity and one ender dust and cause an explosion. So it's not an ender eye, it's an ender dust. Um, which I should be able to get. Uh, I think I got a crusher right here. Oh, it won't go in there. Maybe it'll go in there. Oh, missed it. There. <laughs> then we cause an explosion. Um, I don't think I have any TNT. Oh, uh, wait, I might, might. Oh yeah, I have some over here. um yeah the only thing is I think a place that it's okay to blow stuff up yet <laughs> in um I guess let's do it right here okay let's uh put you down we'll place our lever <laughs> will um oh wait i have my magnet on let me get my magnet off magnetization i think i may have to put that inside so boop and a boop Oh, look at that! Quantum Entangled Singularities. Uh, now, if you have more Quantum Entangled Singularities, uh, they won't stack. Um, each, each one turns into two, and they're linked, and they won't stack together. So if you have two that won't stack together, they won't work. Uh, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Let's go see um, these. I didn't. I wasn't expecting to do this, but this is uh, really cool. So let's do. Um, we need quantum rings and a quantum link chambers. Now to set this up, we're gonna need two quantum link chambers. Oh boy okay so let's just go ahead and get this to where it can be auto crafted now this is quartz glass we should have recipes for the quartz glass the fluix pearls um yes we should have all of that except i don't have ender pearls in this system <laughs> so 
I'm going to have to sometime shut down all the things that I have going into the other network and divert them. I don't think there's much left. Um, yes, I'm going to have to uh, divert <laughs> some of the things that I have over there. I don't have over here, so it would just be good to be able to get that stuff into this system so that I have everything that I need. This is okay. We should have the dense smart cable already, but we need an energy cell too. So, oh, that looks pretty cool. Energy cell. I think that's um, that's pretty much it. Right. Um, yeah, I guess let's just make a new row. Uh, so what I might have to do is just take some into pearls, just grab a bunch, and just toss those in here. And a boom. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, let's do quantum again. All oh, right, we, we're going to need two of these. Now, I might not have time to set this whole thing up. Uh, oh, quantum tunneling, baby. Uh, so, need one quantum blink chamber surrounded by eight quantum rings. Uh, so, we're going to need 16 of those to do each one. Oh, dude, I totally told it how to make the energy cell. I don't know why it doesn't want to do that. There's the energy cell right there. Huh. That's the uh, I see two or I see three. I don't know why it won't. <laughs> I don't know. I have it for it. Okay, so I sometimes it just does this, and I don't know what is going on but usually clearing it out and starting over maybe uh that uh, and maybe coming in here and also telling it to allow substitutions maybe that will help yeah, right now. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Oh, this is so good. Um, oh, I've never actually built one of these before. Um, <laughs> I understand the concept of it. go. Oh, this is so good. Uh, now, this is really cool. You can um, do all sorts. You can peer-to-peer -peer through uh, the quantum link chamber. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty powerful. Uh, 
I mean, it's just like uh, the refined storage version. Uh, I think it has a little bit more to explain it <laughs> I think it has more versatility because you can uh, you can send like redstone signals through uh, but I guess you can with the other network system too uh, because you can use the uh, wireless transmitter and then you can hook anything up to the wireless transmitter and refined storage that you could in your normal thing. So it just seems really, really cool. So where do we want to put this guy? Um, I really, I really want to kind of make this uh, first level here. Um, just a big computer room. I like all my stuff to just be around the middle here and kind of move this stuff away, but I don't know where else to put this yet. So I'm just going to leave it here for now. Let's see. Um, I guess this would be a good spot here. Uh, let's put you there. We can at least get uh, get this skin hooked up. Oh snap! Did you see that? It's uh, a quantum leap chamber. Now you put this guy over here. And then when we build the other structure, we'll put the other one in there, and the two will be linked up. I don't know how. I think this only takes one channel. Um, and I don't know which part of this you would actually want to hook it up on. Dude, maybe I should move it closer. Closer to over here. Maybe. I like it that these aren't have to put on. Oh, there we go. So maybe I could just uh, do, 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 do. Put this dude over. Hopefully it won't need more than regular cable. Um, I think it might need power. I'm not sure because that technically should be giving it power. Um, and there's no, <laughs> there's no like little thing. So let's just go and uh, set it up over at the fission reactor somewhere. Um, hmm. I mean, I have, I have the other one over here. Uh, hmm, let's just put it right here for now, and we'll see if I need to move it to a different location later. Boop. And a boom. Okay, so what I get a at a two. Let's get 
get a a storage monitor. Oh, well, actually, do we have a crafting monitor? Crafting. Ah, oh, dude. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just get a storage monitor, and we'll see if we can hook it up and see see if it's working, or if we need to do something else. Where did you go, buddy? Okay. So let's see if we can pull you out. Device offline. Now, I wonder if you have to uh, like connect it to here. Maybe. No, it did not connect. Uh, but it did connect up top. So I'm wondering if maybe you need to give it power on this end. So let's try a point. Uh, and that may need like an energy acceptor. So let's try that too. Energy acceptor. Aha! Look at that. Uh, but there's uh, the storage monitor isn't really. I guess it's not. Not very interactive. Okay, so um, come on. plane. I just want the, there we go, an ME terminal. That's what I want. Now I can access the ME terminal by pushing shift G, but, uh, oh yeah, yes. Uh, so now we can send things uh, and pull things out of our network to put into here and we can take uh, the antimatter pellets and put them away. Of course, we could just use a ender chest for this. Uh, I'll probably just swap that out with an ender chest so I don't have to run cable all the way over there. But yes, I'll probably uh, move this around. I forgot to turn my magnet off. <laughs> Wondering why I'm not getting anything. There we go. Oh, this is great. <laughs> we got a quantum link chamber hooked up. Oh, so now instead of having this hooked up to my refined storage system, I can uh, hook this up into the main underground base and, and disconnect it from that and also uh, set our this uh, fuel uh, to make out here so I can have it continuously run this guy. How's it going? It's still, it's still keeping up oh, with all the water. Oh, there we go. It's full. Everything's doing great. Awesome. Uh, Oh, here we go, snap. I love this. Uh, it looks really super cool. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, never done this with uh, AE2 before, so this is cool and awesome. Uh, wasn't as bad to set up as I thought. Uh, 
and having to give it power on this end, I thought it would just go through. Uh, I guess you could get it to put energy through by using a P2P tunnel that transfers energy, maybe. Not sure, but I like it that this is working. This is great. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I think this was a very successful uh, episode. So <laughs> I appreciate you watching. Uh, have a good day. See you next time. Bye-bye.